I'm going to bring in senior law enforcement analyst, former acting CBP commissioner and Heritage Foundation visiting fellow Mark Morgan. All right, Mark, 300 yards, they have IR tents and sniper rifles and shooting at drones. What the heck? Yeah, Carl, look, let's, let's, let's foot stomp on something that uh, Jason said. Th this is not about immigration. That's what this White House and the open border applicants want to make this about. We need to put this aside. How much data, how much more information, real-time data do we need to see that our borders are not secure, as Jason said. This is not about immigration. This is about national security. Look, those videos show just how powerful, just how influential, just how organized the Mexican cartels are. They own our southwest border. Law enforcement on our border right now, are, they're unable to do their job to protect our nation against the vast set of complex threats that are invading this country at the hands of the cartels. That video is once again another layer of proof, and this is because of this administration's open border policies. Look, illegal immigration is an important subset of this yeah. because that's what drives our borders to be open. It pulls agents off the front line and hands operational control over to the Mexican cartels so drugs can pour in, criminals can pour in, and national security threats can pour in. And it's happening every day, all day long, Carl. But Jason, and, and I'll, I'll pose the same question to you, Mark, after this. But Jason, this is in Mexico. We don't have any jurisdiction over where the cartel are over there. We can't take any action against them. Like, what do we do? Well, we've got to look at the totality of what's taking place. We have to designate these cartels as foreign terrorist organizations. Because as a nation, if we can't get the little things right, we're never going to get the big things right. And if you don't have that designation, you can't use tools of national power. That's first. Second, we've got to go after these labs in Mexico. You know, and that's one thing that I hope the president has a real stern conversation with President AMLO about, because here's what's important in, in, to understand about these labs. These labs, there are hundreds and hundreds of them. The Drug Enforcement Administration and U.S. intelligence agencies know exactly where they are. In the short run, Carl, we've got to be hitting these labs, working with Samar, which is basically the Mexican Marines and other elite units within Sedena to go after these labs and crush them. Because I will tell you, if you think for a second that the Sinaloa cartel and Cartel Jalisco New Generation is going to be upset after they've killed over 100,000 Americans from this deadly poison, they are not. All they care about is money and expanding right. their capabilities in Mexico and throughout the world. We have to go after the labs and we've got to crush them. Well, but Mark, let's go into policy here. Let's say we do declare them a, a terrorist organization. Do, you know, do we have the relationships with Mexico under this administration to just send in a bunch, I don't know, just send in a bunch of SEALs to blow up a couple drug labs in Mexico? I mean, how is that going to go over? No, we don't, but Carl, it's irrelevant. We don't need a relationship, right? We need to lay down the gauntlet. We need to say, just like President Trump said, look, love him or hate him, the truth is, I'll give you an example. He said, Mexico, you're going to get your act together. You're going to step up and you're going to secure your southern border. You're going to increase interior enforcement. You're going to stop the flow of illegal immigration that is making our borders less secure and jeopardizing our nation. If not, we're going to slap the thing called tariffs on and we're going to destroy your GDP. Wow, shocker, Mexico stepped up and devoted more resources to securing their border and helping us than ever before in our lifetime. So we don't need them. We're going to tell them, as Jason said, look, and whether we make the official designation of make the cartels a terrorist organization, here's what we definitely need to do, as Jason said. We need to go after them just as we do terrorist organizations mm -hmm. with the same level of commitment, resolve, and resources that we do terrorist organizations. Look, we can, look, I, I, I've been doing this for, for 40 years. We cannot continue to do the same thing and go after the cartels like we do uh, criminal organizations here in the United States. It doesn't work. They're too big. They're too powerful. And to put stop something that Jason said, look, the labs, the super labs in Mexico, look, Carl, we know where they're at. We have the intelligence. We know exactly where they're at. We can go, we can locate, and we can destroy them. And the last thing that I'll say is this should be a multi-layer, broad approach. We also need to go after China as well with respect to getting them oh, sure. to stop sending the chemicals to Mexico. Yeah, well, and that that said, I mean, at this point, the cartel are so powerful. You know, the, the Mexican government, they have to think about, do the, are the tariffs worse or the cartel taking my family worse? And that's been allowed to grow in the last two years. Real quick, Jason, Ron DeSantis activating the National Guard. I mean, Cuban, hundreds of Cuban, um, not Cuba, thousands of, of Cuban migrants arrived by boat, southern Florida. Uh, what do you make of the fact that the National Guard is now involved? Well, look, in Texas, the National Guard has been involved. you got over 12,000 deployed. Mm -hmm. This is a problem that we have to look at in the totality, Carl. At the end of the day, 
in just the last two months, you've had 561,000 apprehensions in this country of people coming from both our northern border and southern border. Mm -hmm. In a three-month time span, we're looking at 800,000 people we're going to have. We've never seen that. So the fact that the governor in Florida is deploying his National Guard, I'm surprised he hadn't had to do it earlier. Texas really? had to do it over a year ago. So expect this to continue and just get worse. And I will say it right here, right now. Based on the policies that are taking place and the signaling to the world, the world has heard it and they are coming. Yeah, well, uh, let's let's hope that there's some wise policy comes out of this. Mark Morgan, Jason Jones, we appreciate it. You Good to be with you.